Liberty basketball great Caleb Holmesley is back in the news and outdoor track cashes in another dominating performance at the A-Sun Championships. Plus, we'll show you Liberty's latest facility and keep you up to date on the golf team. That's straight ahead on Flame Central. If there's an NCAA tournament going on, the Flames are most likely <laughs> in it. Plus, a former Flames scientist first NBA deal. Welcome to Flame Central. I'm Emily Austin. He's Rhett McGibbon. And Rhett, once again, it has been quite a busy week in Liberty Athletics. Yeah, it sure has. Let's start with softball, where the Lady Flames were looking to punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament for the fourth time in program history. Yeah, but in order to do so, LU would need to take down Kennesaw State in the ASUN championship game, which was definitely not short of no, action. It wasn't. Let's pick things up in the fourth inning. Tied ball game at one. Danae Griffin sends one out of the park to give the Lady Flames a one run lead. Then in the fifth, Amber Bishop Riley sees her sister out there on base and she's like, hold on, sis, let me bring you home. That's good for an RBI double to give Liberty a 4 1 lead. Bishop Riley went on to be named the ASUN Tournament MVP. But here's where things start to get a little interesting. Top six, Kennesaw State's Taylor Cates goes deep for a three-run slam, and all of a sudden, Rhett, we have a tie ball game. Will LU respond? Yes. Caroline Hudson flies out, but here comes pinch runner Mary Claire Wilson from second base. Dot taking a chance, sends her home, and Wilson scores the go-ahead run. The Lady Flames win it 5-4 to four for their fourth conference tournament title in program history, securing an automatic bid to the NCAA Regionals. Here's the moment when number 25-ranked Liberty found out that they're headed to Knoxville, Tennessee. The Lady Flames will be joined by JMU, Eastern Kentucky, and the Tennessee Volunteers. Head coach Dot Richardson spoke to the media on preparing her team for the big moment ahead. You know, I'm just excited because one thing through the years I've seen is when you get to big games, players make it bigger than what it should be. That can't happen. And as a coach, my job is to prepare them so that doesn't. So if we lose because another team is better, so be it. But I don't want to compete not at our full potential because we're overwhelmed with the situation. So really, you play the ball. Being one with the ball, that's what it's about. Well, softball, not the only team on the diamond this past week. Baseball will be on the road at Kennesaw State to wrap up the regular season. Flames and Owls game one would see Trevor DeLate tossing another beauty, allowing one run off of four hits. It would be a second straight complete game against Kennesaw. Flames take it 3-1. Game two would be, as they say, cray-cray. In the top of the ninth, Anderson with a homer to make it 12-6 Flames. Game over, right? Not so fast. KSU would battle back Hodges with a three-run knock to make it 12-10. Then Spratling with a solo shot makes it 12-11. Flames would finally get the last out and take it 12-11. Liberty would drop game three, but finish their ace on schedule, having not lost a conference series. Well, five years ago, Scott Jackson became the head coach of Flames baseball. Cam Locklear and Trey McDyer were by his side from day one and have helped establish the program into what it is today. This past season, three transfers, Jake Wilson, Fraser Ellard, and Trevor DeLate have only added to the culture. For all that these five seniors have done for Liberty, we thank them with this special message. What kind of impact have these five seniors had on this program? <sighs> um. Swung, line drive, right center field, down for a base hit. Locklear headed to second, head first slide, and a two-run double. One word to describe Cam Locklear is gritty. <laughs> Cam. Patient. Captain. Hard worker. Very determined. Cam is Cam. Cam's fun, always fun. Energetic. Cam. Captain. Cam and Trey have been here since the first day I was here, and they have just shown me what the culture of Liberty Baseball is supposed to be like. I mean, they just kind of laid the foundation for everyone else, being here as long as they have, and just um, being the guys they are. They've really had a big impact on my life, uh, on and off the field. They made that sacrifice to come back for that fifth year, 
and just serve our team. Into the third base. McDyer snags it to his left to throw across in time. One word to describe Trey McDyer is leadership. Humble. Wisdom. Fiverr. Lover. Trey, very selfless. McDyer, leader. Trey McDyer is wise. Mature. The other three guys, Frazier, Trevor, and Jake, they came in. They really continued that culture and brought it in. They didn't even need to be taught it. They've all just left such a big impacts on every single one of us, and it's definitely going to be different coming in the locker room next year without those guys being in there. 2-2 pitch. Swung on it. Missed strike three. Got a fastball by him. Third strikeout tonight for Trevor DeLate. One word to describe Trevor is consistent. Selfless. Consistent. I would say Trevor's an example. One word to describe Trevor DeLay is old. Cool. Old man. Father. Dad. And the Flames left-hander now has a half dozen strikeouts on the night. I would say one of the main things that I've learned from all five of these guys is everything that you do on and off the field uh, is really just a reflection of who you are. There's a line drive toward right center field. Wilson dives in, makes the catch. Full extension, Superman dies. Jake is uh, squanchy. Sneaky. He's an absolute grinder. A go-getter. Pretty. Clown. As genuine as it gets. Genuine. Hardworking. Passionate. Shallow right field. In comes Wilson. Another diving grab. That ball is gone. Jake Wilson, his first home run as a flame. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better group of guys to, to lead us. And I mean, in terms of leadership, I think it takes a village. Each guy contributes a different asset and a different value. Gives way for another, Fraser Ellard, who's been fantastic. The 0-2 from Fraser Ellard. Here it comes. Swung on and missed, strike three. Got him on a fastball up and in. Frazier Ellard is very down to earth. Hardworking. My barber. Role model. Relentless. Very confident. He is a competitor. Competitive. Frazier Ellard is competitive. Dedicated. Left handers, one two pitch. Steve right three called. Backdoor breaking ball. And that's the ball game. Those seniors, I'll never get back. And I just hope that one day I can be. A senior like them for, for a freshman like me. Frazier, uh, Trevor, Trey, Cam, and Jake, I just want to thank you guys for being great leaders and just really being a part of Liberty Baseball and showing what it is to be a flame. I love you guys. I'm going to miss you a whole lot, and I don't really want to think about that right now because we still got the season going on, and I just want to really cherish and enjoy every single moment we have left. Red, a couple weeks ago, head coach Scott Jackson had a special tribute to these five seniors, but it was yeah. really neat to see the, the uh, players' perspective yeah. and the impact these five seniors have had on them. Yeah, I think your senior year, you're focused on, all right, I want to make sure I savor every last chance I can of my of the situation I'm in, right? Playing the sport I love, but you don't really think about how far your legacy will last. You hear a freshman saying, I want to be a senior like them. And before you know it, your legacy is lasting for 12 years. Really neat. And they will be playing at home against Bellarmine this weekend. Yeah. So hopefully not the last series here at home, but could be for those seniors. Well, switching gears to outdoor track and field, the Flames and Lady Flames competed in the A-Sun Outdoor Track and Field Championships and won almost half of the events <laughs> at the two-day competition. So it's pretty obvious that both teams swept the titles and brought home some hardware. On the men's side, first-year sprinter Diamante Griffin was awarded the A-Sun Most Valuable Performer after breaking records in the 100 and 200-meter race. He set new meet records in both events while also breaking the A-Sun all-time record and the Liberty Program record in the 200. Standout performances for the Lady Flames include co-A-Sun Most Valuable Female Performer Chelsea Igbarasi, who won the Hammer and Discus Field events, Abby Pantlitz taking the victory in the 100 and 200, and Adeline Ackley took the crown in the 5K. Take a look at these final scores from the meet. You can see how dominant both programs finished overall. The men have captured 14 straight outdoor conference titles, while the women have won six in a row. Following the victories, head coach Lance Bingham was named the A-Sun Men's and Women's Coach of the Year. Well, good stuff. Well, over the past five years, we've seen Liberty Athletics hard at work to make their facilities some of the tops in the nation. 2017 saw the indoor practice field for football along with the Athletic Center. 2020 brought in Liberty Arena. 2021, the indoor tennis center. Well, 2022, 
why not add another on? Director of Athletics Ian McCaw announced that the Liberty Multipurpose Center is scheduled to open summer of 2022. This will be a 75,000 square Woo. foot facility that will house baseball, softball, men's and women's soccer, and the lacrosse program. The space will include batting cages, workout spaces, and room for strength and conditioning. Definitely a great time to be a flame. Well, the good news around the Flames does not end there. Remember Caleb Holmesley? Of Anybody? course. Yeah, yes. I'm sure you do. Well, the former Flame just inked a multi-year NBA contract with the Washington Wizards. Holmesley just finished up a shortened season in the G League with the Erie Bayhawks, in which he averaged 9.3 points per game, 4.1 rebounds, and 2.3 assists. Holmesley will be a part of the Summer League for the Wizards in the hopes of making the team coming this fall. The rumor has it now that Kayla will be on a Flame Central podcast in the very near future, so be sure to keep a lookout for that. Well, still to come, we get you caught up to date with Liberty Golf and give you some insight on a tool they use to complement their swing. Plus, we introduce you to the Athletic Shepherds and their mission on the playing field. Flame Central will be right back. A bachelor's degree is more than a diploma. It's about standing on your own two feet so you can give back in a way no one else can. At Liberty University, we believe in giving back. So when you study online, you won't pay for books. And when you're out fighting for others, we have your back. By discounting your tuition and holding rates steady for over six years. Over 100 undergraduate degrees, one you. Infinite possibilities. Times are changing. At Liberty, we've made it our priority to grow, to learn, to improve. But even with all the change, our purpose remains. We want to equip people to go make a difference through their calling in their communities around the world. And though we are blessed with an amazing campus, our most valuable resource has always been the people, our students, and those who inspire them. It's the people who serve, maintain, support. It's you. But what's really important, not the buildings, not the mountain, not the property, but the young people who use these buildings, who study in these facilities, they are important. No matter what the future holds, we will stay focused on our goal. And the people of Liberty University are how we will continue to carry out our mission. They are the ones who empower us to training train champions, champions for Christ. Christ. Champions for Christ. Training champions for Christ. First responders, you proudly serve. You are faithful to the call. The call to serve your community. The call to protect. The call to save lives. Just as you honor God through your calling, at Liberty University, we're called to honor you by saving you money so you can earn a degree that prepares you today for whatever calls tomorrow. Welcome back to Flame Central. Liberty Golf has been in the thick of the NCAA regionals this past week in attempts of making it to the NCAA championship. I think it's fair to say that this is one of the best golf teams in program history. Now with the top five teams advancing from the Tallahassee Regional, Kieran Vincent would be locked in day one. Vincent would sport a seven under par 65 to put the Flames as a team in third. Day two, Jonathan Yon would pick up the slack he would do his part with a five under par 67. 
Liberty as a whole would come in at 11 under par for the day, moving into second place. Day three would see an up and down day showing from the flames as they finished in fourth overall, but advancing is all that matters and they do just that. This is the third time in program history that the Flames have gone on to the national championships. Now the Flames will book their tickets as they head to Great Hawk Golf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona. The event takes place May 28th through June 2nd. Cannot wait for that. Yeah, Red, exciting stuff for the men's golf team. Really looking forward to seeing those guys compete at nationals. To be successful in golf, you have to have a solid swing. Red, I'm talking, I'm talking to you. Thanks. Yeah, anyway, the golf swing is so technical, but it's also all about feel. Here's how the Flames are using top-notch technology to avoid injury while creating the best swings possible. The golf swing, a continuous work, one that takes time, effort, and persistence, but one that also is unique to each golfer, whether they model their swing off of analytics or feel feel 100%. I couldn't tell you any fine details about a golf swing, so I've just grown up kind of, you know, feeling based, um, just kind of, I've always been kind of smooth swinging. Uh, I don't really worry too much about anything else. Everyone's different, I think, and it's important to look at the fact that um, in a golf swing, there's lots of technical sides to it, and I think everyone has their own technical portion. More and more now, being in college and working with a lot of people, uh, I feel like it's been much more on the technical side, trying to improve the fundamentals, improve like more specific swing keys. But no matter if you are a feeler or a technician, a golfer's game is certain to have ups and downs. For Flames top golfer, Kieran Vincent, he has experienced his fair share of injuries as a Flame. Those injuries have led Kieran to make adjustments, especially in his swing. It's just been one that's kind of been shaped and evolved over the last couple of weeks, months, years, with changing, you know, definitely through injury and changing through a lot of different areas. A huge help in navigating Kieran's swing through injury was Dr. Jeff Lowe's, who is certified with Titleist Performance Institute. Dr. Lowe's knows that it can't be a blanket approach. The whole TPI model was based off of there is no one perfect swing, you know, and a lot of times we get to see these guys when they're in pain. So our first priority is get him out of pain. Uh, from there, we're then going to test him fitness-wise. Does he have the necessary strength and also the necessary power and explosiveness? We then go and use some technology, the K-Vest, or there's other motion capture, you know, ways that we can look and say, hey, is he properly sequencing and using his body and his power and his fitness to effectively make a golf swing. We're gonna look and see, is he efficient? You know, maybe we need to work on some things movement-wise. Maybe he's just gotta change some things in the gym, or maybe he's gotta to talk to his coach and maybe look at some technique issues. This TPI model instilled by Dr. Lowe's does not make the golfer, but it has managed to give Flames golfers enough of a boost to help in critical stages of their collegiate careers. There's gonna be days you're feeling good, there's gonna be days you're feeling bad. I was having a tough time with my swing, my body wasn't really feeling that great, and I just remember going over to see him at his practice and um, just getting to know him a little more because I had heard that he had worked with a lot of athletes at Liberty. Just through seeing him a few times, I was able to you know, get my swing back in order and I was able to feel a lot better. For a lot of the golfers, it either validates for them or maybe it's that aha moment like, I knew something was off, but I just didn't know what it was. He's able to, you know, get me the quick fix when I need the quick fix and also help me to look long term for some things. And so um, Dr. Lowe's has been able to shape who I am as a person as well as, you know, my swing per se. And so my swing has come a long way for the better because of him. TPI, a small cog in the wheel of success that any collegiate team or golfer would love to utilize. The elite players nowadays, they all have these tools at hand. Um, there's things that, you know, I've learned through Dr. Lowe's that, you know, I would have never known, and it's made a big impact on my success. Golf team, I think, would be so much fun to be a part of. All right, look, can I get this really yeah, quick? Yeah, go okay. ahead, First Matt, off, your you're, show. you're winning. 
All right, so you're winning. That's great. You got a dog that comes around. That must be fun Bacon. that they allow a dog around. And then, you know, Jeff Thomas does a great job of enabling these guys to utilize some technology to bring their game to another level. So great job by him. Still wondering why I wasn't invited to that shoot, but yeah, we I'm can sorry. discuss that after okay. the show. That We're going to move on to WEF. Warm, hot, and in fuego. Rhett breaks down the top plays, moments, players of the week. We usually have a theme. Is yes. that the case today? Yeah, cartoon characters okay. this week. Not, not really familiar, so hopefully I know these. You, you we'll see, did things. your mom not let you watch cartoons? I was playing outside, oh, you know, yeah. like with the bike, tires, getting mud on your back. Okay, anyway, like so right. warm is where we'll start. Yeah. Who's the cartoon? The cartoon character is the Roadrunner. It's okay. a moment this week. So warm is a moment. Mary Claire Wilson, the tag up from second. Yes. What a play that was. Now watching this, you think, okay, She's going to get to third. She's going to be 60 feet away. We're in pretty solid shape. No, she turns on the afterburner. She's running out. What is the shortstop I, doing? Why is she going towards first? Like, no, the shortstop looks to second. I have no idea. Even the commentator is curious on what on earth is going on. But Mary Claire Wilson, great story about her hamstring injuries throughout this season. They were saving her for the right time. She has got speed for days, and she uses it in the perfect moment. She's rounding third. Dot's like, no, you're not holding up at all. We are going home. You see how pumped up Autumn gets there on the play, and uh, just a great moment. How often do you see a player tag up from second and make it home on what should be a just a – Average relay throw, not very often, so great play. Only a road runner could do it. Okay, right. so moving along to hot, yes. who's the cartoon? All right, we got a player. It's Jonathan Yawn, and the cartoon character is Buzz Lightyear. Because you know how Buzz is always, like, throwing out the, the thing, and he has the little target on it? Yeah, yeah, I was like, when the sticker peel came off, I was really, really upset yeah, for Buzz I, and that I one. I could see that. Well, Jonathan Yawn had it just dialed in there on the day two and day three. His day two, five under par, 60, 70. He had five birdies and an eagle on that day. He was locked in, finished tied for eight, six under par on the tournament. And uh, so happy for a guy that has just worked tirelessly on his game. The fact that they get to go to uh, the NCAA championships is great. Now, also really happy for Kieran Vincent, who has battled injuries. I credit you and the feature that you did Thanks. showing that yeah. technology yeah. that he has been using yeah. in order to have that success. Okay, yeah. finally, we end with En Fuego. Right. Cartoon. Outdoor track and field, the cartoon, The Incredibles. Because you look at these ladies, Unreal. just how they were going through all this, and it was amazing. Ink Barassi, just the strength that she was showing, discus and the hammer, also came in third in the shot put. She was absolutely unreal. And this is a team, too, that had a little bit of payback against Kennesaw State because indoor finals, they lost to Kennesaw State. You come here, Kennesaw State's your main rival. You beat them by 45 points. You're feeling pretty good against, about yourself. So great job overall uh, by the women's portion in this. They did a fantastic job. Night, night to those owls. If you were a cartoon, what would you be? If I was a cartoon? Yeah. Oh, that's a great question. Okay, we'll tell you after the Goofy. break. Still to come, we show you what Liberty is doing to make sure its athletes succeed yeah. on and off the field. That's when Flame Central returns. At Liberty University, we don't just believe everyone should have access to higher education, we make it happen. That's why we are offering our Middle America Scholarship to help families like yours by providing over $20,000 over the course of four years. Money should not hold you back from the life-changing experience at Liberty University. Find out if you qualify for the Middle America Scholarship today. A graduate degree is about more than letters behind your name. It's about mastering ideas, standing out from the crowd, not just for expertise, but for excellence and integrity. At Liberty University, we stand out from the crowd by not raising online tuition prices for the past six years and offering lower rates for select programs. Over 250 graduate degrees, one you, infinite possibilities. Liberty University is more than my sponsor. It's my school, too. Fuel 
continue your education at Liberty University. Behind every great leader, change maker, and essential worker is a teacher. Though teaching today may mean inspiring students from home, at Liberty University, we've been inspiring students from home for over 30 years. Earn your Bachelor of Education degree 100% online and graduate, prepare for licensure and classroom ready, wherever that classroom may be. So the leaders, change makers, and essential workers of tomorrow can be inspired by you. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Flame Central. Not only does Liberty do an amazing job of caring for their athletes in their given sport, but more importantly, they want to make sure that their student athletes walk with the Lord is where it should be. Which is why the Flames started a new program in Athletic Shepherds, an opportunity for student athletes to help bridge the gap between spiritual development and athletics. Thank you so much for coming to our first ever Athletic Shepherd signing day. To think about the first ever Athletic Shepherd team is so exciting. And so, um, you know, my idea was to, um, since they're Athletic Shepherds serving our sports team, to make it like a signing day like you would if you're going to college or you're just signing a pro contract. You know, we talk a lot about athletic development. We talk a lot about academic enhancement. Uh, spiritual development is critical for us and that this is an opportunity to really pour into our student athletes and, and help them with their uh, walk with Christ, help them with their, uh, their journey in, in life here at Liberty. You're free to sign your contract. I thought it would be an awesome opportunity to give back to the university because they've given so much to me over the past four years and I thought it would be so cool to just invest spiritually in these men and women who are so strong investing their time into this university. The opportunity to bridge the gap between uh, the Shepherd's Office and athletics to provide uh, the athletic teams with somebody that's uh, going to be a spiritual guide, spiritual mentor uh, for each of our teams. To know you got somebody there that's going to pray with you um, to uh, help you grow uh, spiritually, um, that's just a presence for you, it, it means a lot. I came as an RS and was on a track and field dorm and just seeing like the um, kind of a the lack of um, community that was there with some athletes. And that's when like God was stirring my heart to like really like realize like, I, you know, this is a a different kind of ministry where they go out to these athletes and pursue them and try to bridge these gaps. I'm really just excited to get to be involved with a team and get to know the athletes and just be a part of their lives. Um, one of the biggest things when it comes to athletic ministry is a ministry of presence. And I'm just really excited to just be that presence. Well, it's more than just sports and Liberty does a great job of that. I can't wait to see how this program continues yeah. to grow in seasons to come. Uh, you know, Flame Central Podcast, I don't know if you have downloaded it just yeah. yet. We're just about out of time, but you need to go ahead and do that right now. Caleb Holmesley is yes. our guest this upcoming week. You don't want to miss yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be great. Well, that's all the time we have. She's Emily. I'm Rhett. We'll see you right back here next week.